Hi, I'm Matt Schultz with the Sustainable Phosphorus Alliance, and I'm joined here today with by Professor Paul Withers of Bangor University. He's a researcher within the NSF's Phosphorus Sustainability Research Coordination Network, and we're going to talk today about his paper uh, in green chemistry called Greening the Global Phosphorus Cycle, How Green Chemistry Can Help Achieve Planetary P Sustainability. And thanks for joining us today, Paul. Um, I wanted to ask you first uh, why you did this research. Okay, so this was a paper uh, that came out of um, the RCN activities. Uh, and my co-authors on this paper were Jim Elser, Julian Hilton, uh, Hiseo Otaki, William Shipper, and Kimo Van Dijk. Um, the idea behind the paper uh, was very much to take the, the phosphorus sustainability issue to a new audience, uh, and that was the green chemistry audience. Uh, and so the paper was uh, trying to outline the reasons for the inefficiencies of the current phosphorus cycle um, and to highlight some potential avenues for green chemistry uh, to resolve those uh, issues. So the importance of the work uh, is uh, if we're going to solve uh, these peace sustainability issues, uh, we need to close the phosphorus cycle and develop a circular phosphorus economy. And the, the principles for developing a circular P economy are very much those based on green chemistry and green engineering. So the, those key uh, principles are uh, thinking about the whole life cycle of the phosphorus inputs that we input into the system. So trying to negate their environmental impact, uh, but looking at the whole life cycle from cradle to cradle. So developing benign systems. We then want to look at the use of renewable materials and develop bio-based economies uh, based on those. Uh, zero waste, uh, where we try and recover and reuse um, uh, rather than uh, stimulate the leakage that we have. And then to use only what is necessary. The current systems are very much input driven. Uh, and so what we need to do is to uh, redesign our system so they're output driven. Uh, which puts a new emphasis on developing systems which can um, recycle rather than waste. And you really did uh, look at the whole value chain of phosphorus and the cross-sector approach. Yes, we, uh, yes we did. We, uh, we separated uh, the food chain into different sectors and we looked at how green chemistry might be able to uh, develop new technologies and solutions to improving the sustainability of those sectors. Um, so we're thinking, for example, with the mining sector, uh, comprehensive extraction uh, with the agriculture sector, looking at partial separation of phosphorus from manures uh, to make them more adaptable for application. Uh, in terms of the um, industry, uh, the recovering of white phosphorus and phosphoric acid from waste materials rather than the um, uh, chemicals that we've previously used. Um, and the wastewater industry, um, thinking about uh, recovery of phosphorus as struvite from uh, from the wastewater industry. So there are a lot of different opportunities for nutrient recovery in, in all these systems. Yes, very much so. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and so uh, maybe talk a little bit more about, uh, about that and where, where the opportunities lie for um, pea recovery uh, specifically. What sort of technologies uh, were you looking at? Yeah, so the paper highlighted um, a whole range of different potential secondary resources uh, that could be used to uh, recover phosphorus um, and uh, we, we adopted the, co the concept of a pea refinery uh, where we divided these secondary resources into different sectors and we thought about how green chemistry might be able to uh, recover phosphorus uh, into these di different secondary products and we called it the pea, pea refinery. Okay, great. And so, um, where what's the next step? I mean, you've kind of given this conceptual outline of, of, of the value chain and where these opportunities lie. What, what do you see next? Well, the, the technology is very much in their infancy. Um, so, uh, the paper was really designed to highlight the need for the green chemistry community to innovate uh, in, in, in these different sectors uh, and help resolve the, um, the peace sustainability issue. Okay, great. Um, you can find this paper online, and uh, thank you, uh, Professor Weathers, for taking the time to talk with us. It's a pleasure.